So we're back at Accountex 2016, day two. I'm with Zandra Moore, the sales director of Pan Intelligence. Uh, Zandra's talk yesterday uh, was on real-time data and what it can do for the finance function. Uh, so Zandra, uh, how can real-time data help businesses make better decisions? Thank you. Uh, we find at the moment that most finance departments and functions are still working with huge volumes of data in lots of different sources um, and spending a huge amount of time actually bringing that data together um, into one place, usually in spreadsheets, so copying and pasting information and doing it on a monthly basis for all sorts of management reporting needs, board reports and so on. It's very time consuming. Uh, and as we are in a world where more and more data is being collected in a variety of systems, usually online, um, but also on premise in different ERP and CRM systems, that it's becoming actually more difficult to report on the data that we have. Uh, so enabling businesses to be more effective with that data is about helping them to bring that information together in an easy way, an easier way than they're currently doing them, saving them time, um, and actually making it as simple as possible to get to those insights that will help them make better decisions. Yeah, so in a world where, as you said, there's just so much information out there, um, what can finance managers, finance directors, CFOs do to make sense of it? Well, there's lots of tools out there, a dashboard, financial reporting tools, um, and we're finding that the majority of companies are now moving to real-time solutions, solutions where they can access information from anywhere, at any time, on any device. Um, at Pan Intelligence, we have such a tool uh, that allows any uh, finance function to connect to any data source they have, whether it's a Sage accounting system, Exchequer, QuakeBooks, Xero, um, or any other we uh, web tools that they may have, perhaps online, or even just Excel spreadsheets where they're putting budgeting and forecasting data. They can connect the tool in and actually bring all of that data together in one place. They build a report once and it's there live for anybody to see at any time. Um, so great if you're out and about and you want to be alerted to something that's changing in your data than waiting until yeah. you get back in the office to do something about it. Yeah, and finally, can you see there being a sort of tipping point where people go from the spreadsheets to, um, to this sort of real-time data or is that quite a way down the line? Excel still is one of the best tools that was ever built and I think we're a long way from Excel being a tool that is not used by any department in organisations and we make it really easy to allow finance functions and departments to get that data back into Excel so they can do the things that they want to do with it as well. So I think there'll always be a place for something like Excel in a business but the dependency on it I think is, is starting to disappear for businesses and actually it's easier now for organisations to access what they need from those finance tools that they're using and, and counting software that they're using remotely and more easily uh, irrespective of where it sits. Sandra Moore, thank you very much. Pleasure, thank you.